Hello and welcome to the third part of the Opera Sydney tutorial, modeling the third outer shell. This tutorial was brought to you by Akrito. Okay, so let's begin. We'll model the third outer shell. Now the process is very similar to the one used in the previous two uh, outer shells. Now the only difference is uh, that here uh, the model is a little more complex. Now the process is exactly the same. We want to make sure that we use only four shaped uh, shapes and uh, let's begin. Okay, I'll start drawing the first part, now the second part. Okay, close all the splines, now attach them so they belong to the same editable group. Okay, arrange them a little bit. Maybe something like this. Okay, now this should be probably on the same height. Okay, now let's create the middle part. Now, the middle part is a little more complex. Uh, it's a little more complex because it uses, um, it has uh, another nerve in the middle. Now what I want to do, I want to close those two uh, edges using refine with connect and linear. Make sure they are planar. Okay, and now I will add, I will connect each vertex to the top line, but I want to make sure that they don't the, all the, the shapes are made for four from four vertices well, this is very important because uh, if you use a shape that uh, has more than four vertices then uh, surface won't close it okay now create another line for the lower part okay so now everything is pretty much for uh, has four um, vertices just add the surface modifier with the lower threshold so vertices don't merge and hit edit patch at this point, we can easily change the shape and uh, the curvature of all the model. Okay, just adjust there. Okay, something like this maybe. Just keep on playing with the handles until you get a good result. Okay, now just drag those vertices. Okay, maybe a little more. Now I need a frontal image so I see how they look one against another. Maybe something like this. Okay, so keep doing this with each and every handle of each curvature. Add a shell modifier, I want to give it a thickness because I want to see how it looks and a symmetry modifier. Okay, so this is pretty much the basic shape. Now what I can do, I can just go back to edit patch and keep on modeling and keep on changing the handle's position and the vertices position until everything looks like in reality. Okay, I'll open an image here in 3D Max. I want to have it always in front of me. Okay, so now I'll just adjust the frontal image. Okay, now the side image. Okay, now the middle part is a little, a little bit problematic, but we'll take care of it. Now I'm interested in the uh, back part. Okay, I'll open it here also. So I'll have it always in front of me, just minimize it a little bit. Okay, so this should 
be good. Okay, so it's getting closer now. Now I'll do the, this, I'll adjust the handles for each line independently of the middle section. Uh, this, is, this will be quite hard to control, so I think it's better just do it one by one. Make sure it looks good in the frontal view, then in the left view, the top view, the front view, and make sure that uh, all the lines are properly aligned in all views. Okay, so I'll switch now in 3D view. I'll just have to adjust the position first of the vertices. I've noticed that this comes a little bit further and maybe all those come a little further. Don't worry now um, if you see some black regions that's just an overlapping area but we'll take care of that uh, when we apply the add poly modifier. At this point I just want to make sure I have a clean curvature. This is one of the most important things at the moment. I'll just adjust all those vertices so uh, they create a straight line. And I'll keep doing this until everything is set correctly. Adjust those handles. I enter isolation mode because I don't want any detail to disturb me at this point. Isolation mode shortcut is Alt plus Q on the keyboard. Okay, so now we have pretty much straight shape. Okay, now I'll have to just adjust it in 3D space. Maybe move those a little bit. Just keep on adjusting the handles. If you don't want to get lost in uh, all those handles, just select one and adjust it until it's correct, then move to the next one, and so on. So we have a pretty much good rough shape. Okay. Now I add an edit poly modifier. Select all those inner rings. Hit loop and remove them. I'll do the same for this part as well. Because there are too many vertices, so I just want to make sure that uh, when I use the UVV map modifier, everything will look correctly. As you can see, there are so many edges right here on Edit Poly. Now I will select two, three yes, one no, three yes, one no. Just remove them. Okay. Now I will have to just divide those surfaces again, so uh, they will look okay on all all parts. From all parts. Just adjust those a little bit. Of course at any time if you want to just go back to edit patch and keep adjusting the curvatures there won't be a problem. I'll work now on the, this part. 
we'll have to manually adjust all those vertices uh, this I, I couldn't have done this uh, with edit patch but uh, edit poly is a much more powerful tool that uh, allowed me to control the position of each and every one of the vertices okay I want to what I want to do I want to connect those because when I will apply the UVV map modifier I want to make sure that I can use face so basically on each polygon there will be uh, there will be an image mapped now just change the smoothing group, ok, detach this part and what I want to do, I want to relax it a little bit that's why I detached it just select some middle polygons ok, something like this, maybe one more too ok, so this is pretty much it ok, so I've selected everything now just shrink down and activate soft selection set a fall off so it uh, covers all the parts use edge distance of 2 and just use relax I want to smoothen this surface up ok let's say something like this ok now as you can see it looks good Okay, I reattached it. Okay, so we pretty much got a basic exterior sh shape uh, looking quite good. Now what I want to do, I want to just duplicate the inner part and work on the nerves. But first I'll just adjust this part a little bit more. Okay, I well, I've welded those vertices to make sure that uh, everything is okay. Just use a mesh smooth set to smoothing group. Okay, now I want to make those a different smoothing group. Okay, but as you can see in the image, uh, all those polygons should belong to the same smoothing group, so we'll have a problem here. Uh, don't worry, just scale them down a little bit. Make sure that all the vertices are quite aligned. Now I can add another smoothing group to only the middle area. To this area I'll just switch to polygon and set another smoothing group. Now as you can see it looks a little better. Okay. Now I don't want mesh smooth, I just want to add the... Uh, okay, select our faces. Now I've selected all the inner faces of the uh, new edit poly some reason it just doesn't work just select this part I want to duplicate it and create the nerves from it ok, I've selected by smoothing group those two and just hit detach I've created another geometry from them select everything, just connect I don't want to do this on the lower part because that will be the base structure. Just deselect those and detach. Okay, so now I'll extrude all those like in the previous models. Just give them a base width that will cover all vertices and a height. Something like this. Okay. Chamfer. And auto smooth. Okay, so now uh, I should do probably the same thing with um, the base structure. Just extrude it, and I think things will be pretty much good. Okay, just give it a little smaller height. Okay, something like this. Okay, I've exit isolation mode. Now at this point, what I want to do, I just add to UVV map set to face, and I think we'll be done. Just copy the symmetry and instance it to the other part. Ok, 
Okay, now just add the UVV map modifier and set it to face. Apply the material and there we have it. Okay, so uh, this was the first part, modeling the outer shells. We will move on and model the base.